Hi, hello, my name is Carly. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a minute. July was just, July was a month. It was a good month. I just didn't have time to sit down and film a video. Anyway, today I am going to Portland, so I'm gonna film a little travel vlog. I have a friend down in Portland that is turning 30 and I got invited to her birthday party and so I'm gonna go down there for the weekend. Probably leave in like a couple hours, kind of need to finish packing, then need to stop at the store to buy some snacks, get some gas just to top up, and then I will go. I'm kind of nervous, really nervous, because traveling by myself like this. I see little Lily. Traveling like this, um, I'm going by myself, it's just no fracking. And Portland is just not one of my favorite cities. I hate that I have to like drive around like a biggest like anxiety thing for me in Portland is like parking. Like am I gonna find parking at the house for the party tomorrow night? And like I I just want to park and not drive until I have to leave. But that is not the case in Portland. <laughs> so yeah I'm kind of nervous about all that. We've been a couple hours so I only really have to spend tonight there and then tomorrow the party's tomorrow night and i have a couple plans um my hotel is about a 15 minute walk away from powell's bookstore so i definitely want to go there i'm gonna i'm 100 gonna go there whether that be tonight because i they might be open late enough that i could like eat dinner and then go tonight and then tomorrow i bought tickets to go to the japanese garden because i've never been and i'm gonna like try to make the best out of like my situation down there um and so there is like a couple places that i want to go japanese gardens being one and the rose garden being another one we're not going to do that this trip but we're going to do the japanese gardens because i'm going to get myself out of my hotel room and we're going to see something new and then sunday i plan to eat breakfast and then come back home and hopefully miss a bunch of the traffic anyway so that's that is the plan and i'm going to take you guys along with me i've got like i'm kind of excited because like so I got plans like I plan to stop at each mart on my way down maybe on my way back um and get myself a little treat I do like the drive down there um because I like driving and I've got an audiobook that I think I could potentially finish during this trip it is I think it's called The Thief's Daughter by Jeff Wheeler it is the yeah The Thief's Daughter by Jeff Wheeler it is the second book in the King Fountain series I listened to the first one back in July and then I've been listening to this one I'm about 33% in and I think I could finish it's like a four-ish hour drive and so I'm definitely gonna want something a little bit more than just music for my drive down there so audiobook is where it's at and like kind of off topic but sort of on topic I ended up getting Kindle Unlimited um, on the 4th of July for myself because I've been wanting to and I was just waiting for the right time and this felt like the right time and I am having so much fun adding books to my Kindle from Kindle Unlimited reading series, but not actually reading the books. I wish I could consume all the books like all at once. Anyway, that's the plan for today. Um, but I need to get dressed, finish packing, and I'm gonna watch some more Olympics. You can't see, but I, another off topic thing, I am an Olympic fiend. I love the Olympics. I like lose my mind every time the Olympics come around. The Summer Olympics especially, oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. Swimming, gymnastics, beach, volleyball beach fucking volleyball okay i just watched beach volleyball i don't even like regular volleyball i played volleyball i did not have fun playing volleyball but beach volleyball i am all over that it is so oh oh it is so good and watching simone biles oh she's so good and Sunita, you like just the u.s gymnastics teams in general but also you can like the brazilian gymnastics teams what is it rebecca Oh, Amara, Amara, I'm gonna pronounce that wrong. She is so fun to watch. They are all so fun to watch. I, oh, I love, love, love the Olympics so much that I like signed up for a Peacock subscription just so I could watch whatever the heck I wanted to watch when I wanted to watch it because I did not want to be up till 11 watching primetime where they're like limited commercials and then it's commercial after commercial after commercial. I love the Olympics and I want to finish watching the um, women's all around individual event because I didn't get to finish that yesterday, so that's my plan. I could go on and on. I love the Olympics. Okay, I need to finish stuff up around here. Made my first stop, which was H Mart, um, and now is really the time for me to kind of plug in my phone and like actually get directions to where I'm going. Um, I wish there was an H Mart closer because I dream about it. But what I got was the last of my food snacks. So kind of lunch. I got. 
vegetable kimbap and it's found musubishi musubi 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 hmm. um and that's gonna be lunch and like a treat and today it's like cookies okay it's a cookies okay and then the organized also what I want and my favorite tea ever it's this one got a little sticky but it's teasel zero sugar and taste like a snapple it's so good so good I love it so much um let me just leave that there I need to plug in directions and then <coughs> I will be more officially on my way so last time I updated it was like maybe noon 12 30 it's 7 35 I got here probably about 40 minutes ago that is supposed to be like a five hour drive and it took me like eight hours. I've never seen traffic that bad. It was awful. I was like, I had to have my own little concert in my car because otherwise I was like going to lose my mind. I was already losing my mind. It was awful and I'm tired and I'm so thankful that this hotel has a restaurant in it because I just went downstairs and ate dinner and I don't have to think about going anywhere else. Right by the river, part of me wanted to walk to the river but another part of me also sort of just wants to lay in bed and decompress and read some fanfiction and watch some Olympics because I, I can't do anything anymore. Oh my God. now Saturday and I just got back from having breakfast and a little walk. I went right by the river and so I went on a walk around the river. I went a little further than I thought. Um, it was nice. I like being by water and so it was nice. But I will say it just kind of like, I mean part of it is that it's like nine o'clock in the morning and so like everything's gonna be closed and I wasn't like by myself because I would not have gone as far as I had gone. If I was completely by myself there's so many people running and walking and stuff so I wasn't like by myself which made me feel comfortable but I do want to say that like the one and only time that I know for a fact I was followed with the person's intent being unknown but probably not good was here in Portland and there was a guy that when I was walking one way he just took more notice of me than I would have liked and then when I was walking the other way he wasn't where I had first seen him so I thought he was gone and then he ended up being in a different place trying to talk to people and at that time I was kind of by myself like there was people behind me and there was people ahead of me but they weren't like close enough if that makes sense and when I didn't respond he got frustrated um, which frustration you never know what that could lead to and with my experience of being followed before here um, kind of freaked me out and I like power walked back to the hotel and not gonna lie it kind of makes me not want to do anything which may be an overreaction but I am a woman and I'm here by myself and I don't want to get hurt and when I was already potentially in a position to have been hurt here it kind of makes any other interaction I have in this area makes me just be like extra worried if that makes sense and yeah so I have about an hour-ish before I probably need to leave to go to the Japanese garden so I'm just gonna like chill um, but so far it's been good I'm proud of myself for getting dinner by myself proud of myself for going to breakfast granted it is the whole restaurant in the hotel but I'm still proud of myself because like I need to eat and I need to do that stuff and then they were playing the gym like they were playing Olympics gymnastics um, today so I got to eat breakfast and have great tea and watch gymnastics and then I went on a nice walk and I am sweaty and tired so I should probably refuel before I go to the Japanese gardens both mentally and physically
I wasn't planning to do that this trip, but since it was right there, I... Oh, um, went because I was already parked and there. I plan to head, head to Powell's now. I just stopped back in my room to use the bathroom, refresh. Definitely need to find some lunch soon, but slightly future me. It smell like vomit. Okay, and probably when I get back from there, I could do a little haul. I'm hoping to not be gone too long. I want some time to relax before going to the party tonight. I've been wearing this shirt, and I wish it was breathable. I wish it was more breathable. It's not, but I can do. You see, there's the little little fit for the day. But yeah, it's getting hot, and this is probably a little too much, but. I like the sun coverage. I think I just recorded a whole section with no, like without actually pressing record. Okay, super cool. I'm back from Pals and I'm just gonna chill and I'm pretty dang proud of myself because this is probably the best time I've ever had in Portland. And I've been a few times and I'm here by myself, which is like so cool that I'm having such a good time. So do a little haul. First off, today I went to the Japanese gardens and picked up a couple of souvenirs because that's what I do. The first one is this bookmark. It's like metal almost. Yeah, it's metal. It's pretty solid, but it's um, this replica of this carving. So it says the thing down here. Maybe a little expensive, but like, I like it. I like having different bookmarks and little things like that that remind me of where I spent my time. And then the other thing I got was this greeting card. It's just a box in this sort of gold foil, sort of Japanese style. I like, I have a couple other like postcards from Japan, similar style, and I want to hang out on my bookshelf. And so I get another one to add to that. And then right after that, I went to the Rose Garden um, because it was right there. And when I looked at, up to see where it was. Um, one of the first things I saw was a review by someone saying that the rose tea at the gift shop was good and I love tea and I like floral teas so I picked up rose tea. I hope this is the one they were talking about but it's the only one that was there so I picked that up. We'll have to give that a try. And then I went to Powell's bookstore and I didn't take any like video there because it was crowded and I was feeling a little overwhelmed to the point that I didn't think I was going to spend any like I wasn't going to find anything from how overwhelmed I was with like how many books there was and how many people there was. But I managed to like calm down enough and I found three books that I bought. And we'll go through that. So the first one I have right here is Hide by Kirsten White. I read this like last year. I loved it. Um, it's a horror novel about these this group of people that are invited to be a part of a hide and seek competition show that takes place at an abandoned amusement park except things aren't quite what they seem. I'm not really a horror girly um, but creepy amusement park kind of sold me 
and I actually ended up loving this book. From what I can tell, it's either you really dislike this book or you really love this book and there's no in between. I loved it. I'm pretty sure I gave it five out of five stars. I've been wanting my own copy, but like for how short it is, despite the fact that I loved it as much as I did and don't really think about it, um, I was not willing to pay full price. Uh, and so I managed to find a copy for $10.98. <laughs> so I picked it up. I was willing to pay that much. And it's a good thing I drove here because I'm not too worried about overfilling, overpacking my suitcase and stuff because my car is here. I have a lot of space in my car. The next one I picked up is A Scatter of Light by Melinda Lowe. I read this in July and absolutely loved it. I wanted my own copy, but I couldn't find it at the Barnes & Noble close to me and I couldn't find it at Target <laughs> close to me. And then I knew I would pick this up whenever I could find it. So I'm glad it was there. There were so many copies. Okay, there was quite a few copies compared to like the note copies I could find. So I picked up a copy of that. I think this one I did pay full price for, but in the grand scheme of things, I was gonna buy this book whenever I found it. And then the last one I picked up, because sometimes when I treat myself to books, I like to pick up books that like are on my radar, but I haven't like read yet. Um, so there's other two I've read and know and loved and wanted. And the next one is Bear Town. Um, it's 10.95, and I've heard really good things about this book, and I've been wanting to read it. And so I. I bought it. It was the first one that I found in the store and I was like, you know what, we'll, we'll take it. I'm excited to read this whenever I get around to it. That's my little haul. Probably not going to do anything else. Um, just drink my drink, relax until I need to leave for the party. Look, will you go look at that sunset? It's like the little bit just peeking out over my finger look at that that is so pretty camera does not do it justice and i don't know how to fix it but yeah it's so cool it's so pretty i don't know how much i'll film because i wasn't really planning to film much but i need to show off this room so i'm currently on another trip this is not portland but I'll probably put it in the portland vlog i'm somewhere new it's a couple weeks later and i'm at the lake with my mom and a friend excuse all this i just took a shower wants to come here like once a year or so and so um yeah so like months and months ago she booked this room and then invited her friend to come along and her friend booked another room for herself and it was decided pretty early on that as i was coming i was gonna get one of the rooms to myself um because despite my mom and her friend being like twice my age i am the old lady and so I, I got a room to myself and we got a room, came here, we got here today, got our rooms and this is the room that I get to myself for the weekend. In the little coffee area, there's a mini fridge down there and stuff and some snacks we brought. And then you get the bathroom area. All my crap, sink, bathroom, you get the point. Now, this is, this is, this is the part. Like, look at this. Look at this. A sitting area, a full sitting area, full size mirror. There's the TV, a king bed, and then like a desk area. Like there's so much room here. And then a balcony, of course, which is like, like this room is so nice it is so nice and my mom and her friend are in the room next door and they have a two queen room and that room is so much smaller than my room and i get this one to myself it is so nice but yeah i had to i just had to share this because i am like i'm so happy with this little room to myself oh it's so nice i'm so 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 happy um and then because this room um, reading because i'm a reader what is a vacation without some reading books so again don't know how much i'll update um but i do plan to spend as much time as we possibly can sitting by that lake and i'm personally going to be reading and my mom and our friend also like sitting by the lake uh, so i have i brought one physical book and my kindle um and i started my physical book today jade city and i'm actually really liking it so far i'm only like yeah, I'm only 30 pages in. Um, 
and I can kind of see why people say the beginning is confusing, but I'm actually like really hooked so far. I'm really excited to read more, which is nice because I was kind of feeling in a reading slump. I just finished Oathbringer and Unsold by Will Wright and Oathbringer. Well, I really, really, really liked. The books are massive and I just like need a break. And then Unsold, I just like, it was fine. It was so fine. Like I gave it, I, but, but it was so fine and I was so just kind of almost bored with it that I never want to finish it, but it was so easy to read and I was so close to the end that I just finished it, which was a mistake because I was already kind of feeling slumpy from Oathbringer and then that just, did. but I think, I think this might be kind of getting me out. And then I also have my Kindle, which has a bunch of books in there. I'm thinking of, I'm going to pick up something on my Kindle. I'm thinking of picking up, um, of Tempest and Tea, I think is the name, but It is like 8.40, 8.30 according to the alarm clock that is like right behind this camera at night. Saturday, I think it's Saturday, I'm pretty sure it's Saturday. Um, spend all day outside um, and it got so hot by the afternoon. I think I got a little too sun, heat, sun thing. Bit of a headache, really, really tired. Do not want to do anything, um, just go to bed. But I read a good chunk of this. I wanted to read more, but it just wasn't happening with so many people around. But I am now kind of stopped in the middle chapter. But on page 180, almost to chapter 22. And so far, again, I'm still like absolutely loving this book. It is so, so good. Um, I feel like I'm finally getting a hold of like the um, hierarchy of these gangs. And yeah, I am really enjoying it. I think my only complaint so far, and it only like just happened where I felt like it literally kind of m mentioned that some months had passed and some stuff had happened. And it was stuff we had just read about like the chapter before. And, and it was a little kind of jarring to be told that months have now passed um, when it was sort of feeling like it wasn't going to do time skips like that. Other than that, really, really liking it. Um, probably going to go to bed feeling a little loopy, a little tired. Um, it was just outside. I was gonna do a little bit more reading, but they were calling for thunderstorms and lightning storms, and some lightning happened. And one thing you need to know about me is that I absolutely have a fear of thunder and lightning. I do not mess around with that. I, I can't. Um, it's been that way since I was a child. I don't know anything different. I am just terrified of it to the point that I will cry. Um, and so, the only thing that has changed since a kid is that I can handle my anxiety better. So as an adult, am I like not a fan that I am in a room alone and there's going to be th possibly more thunder and lightning? No. But like, am I going to stay up all night crying? Probably not. <laughs> One last little update is that I didn't finish this book like I sort of hoped to, but I am 348 pages and so I've got, looks like a little, about 150-ish pages left. Um, and yeah, we're gonna stop in a little town on our way home and I know that town has a bookstore and I'm hoping to pick up maybe the second and third books in these series when I'm there. Um, but just need to finish packing. I know I was editing and I'm putting these two videos all things together so I thought and I never had like a real wrap-up 
and gain to this. So I figured I'd do that now. First of all, Portland ended up having a great time. Um, drove home on that Sunday and I uh, left probably about nine, stopped once and got home by like 2 p.m. Um, which is great. I like hit no traffic, which is like a miracle. There was a couple times where maybe I thought I thought I would hit traffic and then I didn't. Like I kind of slowed down a few times, but like in areas that I knew usually there's a lot of traffic and I, I missed it all. It was amazing. I just I just drove. It was so nice. And then coming home from the lake, um, the little bookstore didn't have what I was looking for and honestly I came home and I was about to start my period and I was too hungry kind of like I am right now and not in a good mood and so we just I just came home and I haven't done anything because I well the next day I didn't have to go to work but been working this past few days and now I finally editing the video so that's those travel vlogs did not end up finishing Cheat City or starting anything else. Again, kind of in a bit of a reading slump, but that's okay. Overall, they were fun ways to kind of end the summer. And yeah, I don't know. I guess I will see you all in another video soon. <laughs> Bye.